What's going on YouTube fam? Mikey here, ready to shoot another high adventure video. You might be asking, what's with the mask? Well, we are mere days away from Halloween and I thought, what's more festive than a little Halloween mask going on during a fishing trip? So that's why the mask. Guys, we are out here at Brownlee Reservoir. Right across the reservoir is Oregon. I am on the Idaho side. We are going to do one last catfishing trip for 2018. And the conditions couldn't be more perfect. It's about 70 degrees outside. The water's still warm. And honestly, it's, it's getting ready to get cold. There's not snow in the mountains yet. In some of the higher peaks, you can see some snow, but um, we're not quite at that point where, where snow's falling at this level uh, here at the reservoir. So I've never actually catfished this late into the season. But right now, the conditions just really remind me of springtime when I do normally catfish here, which is usually about May. Maybe be seven or eight degrees warmer, but the water temperature is still fairly warm. This water is crystal clear. In fact, this is some of the clearest water I have actually ever seen at this reservoir. Uh, I do know from reports that the bass are really biting here. So I'm figuring, hey, if those game fish are active, maybe I'll get lucky and get some catfish as well. As you can see, we're set up. This is just a day trip. I've got a cooler. I have got my trusty tripod and pot ready to throw down some fish, bass, catfish, whatever I can get. And guys, I'm basically just gonna be here till about 11 o'clock at night. Um, I might leave sooner if the fish are really on, but there is not a soul in the campground. Of course, there's somebody up there, but uh, there is just, it's, it's Monday and most everybody left yesterday or this morning. And I basically, have this place to myself. So that is fantastic. And we will see what we can do. All right, so my weapon of choice today is just a nice dead baby trout or mort as they call them uh, with a circle hook right through the eyes or the skull of the fish so it stays on the hook real well. Let's get this bad boy out. Anchors away. Awesome. probably in about 10, 12 feet of water. That should be perfect. So I'm actually gonna rig this first guy up with a bell because I'm only gonna have one out for now. And I am actually gonna go do a little bass fishing. It's just a Texas rigged um, little watermelon with black fleck crawdad. This, this works seven days a week here um, in Idaho. This, and the, when you swim it, the, um, the claws, flat back and forth and this is just the perfect smallmouth bait. Largemouth too. I've pitched and flipped this into brush and cover and uh, done real well for largemouth. So, but we're going to give this a go next. So my fishing rod's down there but it is just dead calm. I've only ever I've only seen one boat so far. Um, so I'm a good I'm a good 50 yards away from the rod but I'd be able to hear the bell if it goes off. I've got a pretty nice size moored on there too so Gonna have to be a pretty nice sized fish I'm thinking to, to to gobble that up and I'm gonna it'll it's gonna make some noise if it hits that rod oh there's a bite he popped it on the fall just a quick tap there's a bite oh I missed him boy he just he just started to gobble that thing up Kind of right out in that same spot. I wonder if there's a bed or something out there. I think he ever tasted the hooks though. Let's get it back out there. What I might even do is during the day, like say if I start catching fish in this area, I might just move my rod down, cast it out so I'm still close, but then I can still work this bank um, for, for bass during the day. And who knows, I might stumble into a spot if I nail a catfish or two, I don't mind moving the whole operation to a different point. Guys, I just cast this out. Oh my gosh, I've got one. Guys, I just moved sides. I was down there, you can see my stuff down there. I just cast my line out. Oh, that's a catfish. Guys, I just cast it out. And I mean, it wasn't in the water for 10 seconds. And all of a sudden the line just took off. Oh my word. Talk about fast action. Oh yeah. She ain't big, 
but it is a catfish. Look at that. Look at that. Dude, that's a nice, healthy channel catfish. That is what I'm talking about right there. Ooh, mama. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. Guys, it wasn't in the water for, for, for 10 seconds. I'm not even joking you. Was not in the water for 10 seconds. And it hit. I've never had that fast of a bite. I think it's safe to say we're gonna move all our stuff around. We're parking right here and we're just gonna fish right off this point. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. That is a nice, probably about three pound channel catfish. That's beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. We're gonna get her on a little bit of a stringer and we're gonna bring all our stuff over here and we're gonna fish off this point. I think that's a sign. 10 seconds in the water, pull out an October catfish. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, guys. I have moved everything over, over here, about 100 yards up river. I was down at that point down there, the island's out there. I've moved it all the way around up to here and this is where we're gonna be. I mean, guys, literally 10 seconds in the water. I barely got the bell ball, bell on the tip, stood back and all of a sudden my line just starts. And I mean, I ripped the bell off and then, then threw the video on. Guys, not a, not a giant, but I tell you what, we won't go hungry this afternoon, that's for sure. We're gonna do a, have us a little blackened catfish straight from the reservoir, but first, I gotta get a couple rods out, man. We, we gotta get after a big one. And maybe, maybe's my day. Maybe today is my day where I finally get that flathead. You never know. Maybe October, I'm feeling it. Maybe October is the time. I, I'm, just, I'm just jacked, pumped now. So I reeled one rod up. I've still got this one out though. Gonna keep the bell on him. I'm actually gonna go out with this guy again. See if we can get us a bonus smallmouth. It definitely seems to be a little bit deeper right in this area. I'm going to fish this point right up here. Uh, keep an eye on the uh, fishing rod, obviously, but see if we can't uh, get us a bonus smallmouth in this little bit deeper water. All right, guys, I just had a smallmouth following my bait up. I didn't realize that I was, whoa, check that out. There's a plane right in the valley. That's crazy. I've never seen a little prop fly that low before. Huh, that's cool, I guess. Guys, so I got this one. Guys, this is a largemouth. Check this out. Whoa, this is a little largemouth. I had my camera off. I actually moved back down into this little cubby here where I had that bite earlier. Look at that. Look at that. Whoa, look, dude. Guys, this is pretty cool. I told you, this color works for largemouth as well, but getting largemouth in this reservoir are fairly rare, predominantly smallmouth bass, but guys, that is a nice largemouth. Man, what a pretty fish, pretty fish. Let's get her back in the water. All right, so we just got the one large mouth. I've got both rods. That's the third boat I've seen today. Um, I've got both catfishing rods out now though. I'm gonna go bring some wood down here. We're gonna get a fire going. I'm gonna get that catfish filleted up and man, I'm gonna eat something because it's about four o'clock right now and uh, I'm starting to get a little hungry. So we're gonna get after it. Time to fillet a fish. Oh guys, look at this. Two nice pieces. That's just from one side of the catfish. I cut it up into two chunks. And oh man, that is some nice lean meat. We are going to have ourselves some blackened Cajun catfish sandwiches out of this bad boy right here. Mmm, getting hungry. All right, so of course, every good fisherman's meal always starts off with butter and lots of it. Get that in the pan. Another dollop because you can never have too much butter. Let that melt down in there. 
butter's nice and melted, so next, filet time. Oh, perfect. Our seasonings of choice today will be Norland's Cajun seasoning, Cajun's choice blackened seasoning, and garnished with a little lemon pepper seasoning. First some Cajun. Apply liberally. Next, our blackened seasoning. Also applied liberally. And last but not least, a little lemon pepper. Move that around in the butter a little bit. Oh yeah, look at that. That's what I'm talking about. We're gonna flip both pieces here. Make sure they're both in that butter. And now we'll season this side just like we did the other side. So I just flipped the catfish. I'm gonna let it cook in that butter a little bit more then I'm gonna move it to the side over here and let it blacken on this side. All right, so here's a little bonus. I'm gonna throw a little beer in there. So we're gonna have a little uh, beer battered, whew, blackened beer battered catfish. How about that? Mm. Oh guys, this smells so delicious. This is gonna be insane. All right guys, this fish is done. Check this out. I've got some thinly sliced tomatoes, some nice chili coleslaw, and this is the kind of bread I'm gonna be using. I, I don't even, it's a baguette, something, I don't know. Maybe one of you can tell me. It's fancy bread for fishing, I'll tell you that. And we are just, this is how we're gonna do this thing. We're actually gonna throw this coleslaw on, layer it right over. Oh yeah, right in there. We're gonna make a nice little bed of slaw. So seductive. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, then I think we're actually, we're gonna slide our tomatoes on that bed as well. One, we'll just do two for now. Oh yeah, look at that. Now, it is time for the main course. If I don't drop it, piece number one. falling apart a little bit. And this was filleted, remember that. So there are no bones in any of this. Oh yeah, guys, look at that. Look at that. We'll just get these other pieces out here. These are gonna be fillers on the side is what this is gonna be. Little nuggets of goodness. Oh. Check that out. This is what I'm talking about right here. Guys, look at that. No sense in waiting any longer. Oh. Mmm. This is living. The catfish. Is cooked perfectly. Those the seasonings just explode in your mouth. Catfish can be difficult because if you don't fry it in breading, it can have a real fishy flavor. So one of the main, one of the only seasonings I have found to really help mask that fishy flavor is a good Cajun seasoning and lots of it. And it still allows that catfish flavor to come through but that seasoning just loads on and it's just like a freight train, just like the fish express coming straight for your taste buds. Mm. Perfectly textured bread, the tomato and the coleslaw add that freshness that you want. Mm. I could eat this all day and I might. Oh, beer blackened Cajun catfish sandwich. It is a mouthful to say, but you're gonna want a mouthful of this. Oh.
This is the only way to live. I tell you what, I think today I have leveled up my fishing game at least a couple levels. You know, fishing for me used to be just kind of like a a mad scramble. It was fish, 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 fish. And don't stop for anything. But I tell you what, you slow down, you do something like this for yourself, it just means you love yourself. It was just fish, 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 fish some more. And, and having to stop to eat something was an inconvenience. And it was throw something down my stomach real fast, you know, beef jerky, Coca-Cola, granola bar. But man, I mean, that catfish was alive 30 minutes ago. It was swimming right around, right in this reservoir. It doesn't get any fresher than that. It doesn't take much. It takes a few seasonings. I mean, some coleslaw, some bread, all this stuff. Heck, you can make all this at home if you want. Get a bite over here. Shucks, I got two rods going off, man. Here's the bite. I think I got him. Yeah, I did. Fish on. That's a cat. Nice. Awesome. Yeah, look at that. Here we go. Now we're cooking. We're gonna have catfish this winter. Uh, she doesn't look too, nah, not a great size. She's a good eater, look at that. Look at that. About another three pounder. <laughs> Ooh, trick or treat, boys and girls. Like I said, about another two to three pounder. Get some nice fillets. I'm gonna be eating good this winter. Woo! Oh, she ate that. Oh, guys, just like that, the sun is set on the 2018 catfishing season for me. Uh, it's been a blast. No personal record set still after that flathead. I mean, does it get any better than this? Big old beautiful fire going. It is still a beautiful evening out. I mean, just a breath of wind. Got a, like half moon going on up there. Just very nobody. I think everybody's out hunting, actually. I'm one of the only people that's actually fishing out here, which is kind of fun. So, uh, but it's been fantastic. It's been a great year for catfishing. Um, definitely one of the better years. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Mash that subscribe button. Hope you enjoyed the video. Of course, I will see you in the next one.